This patient was exposed to radiation, but was not contaminated. She will not need decontamination, and there is no risk to caregivers. This patient was on a subway when they found a bag with a radioactive source inside. The bag was hidden under a seat. She was sitting next to the bag. We haven't found any contamination at the scene. She's homeless. She's been riding the subway all day, maybe six hours in the same car. She's been complaining of nausea. Vital signs are stable. Looks like level is just normal background. It just hit the news that a radioactive source was found. We're expecting to get flooded with patients from that subway. Let's get her into room three. Miss Falano, how long were you on the train? Uh, I don't know, since this morning. Have you been nauseated? Mm -hmm. It's been going on a while now. Okay. Did you vomit? Mm, maybe once. Okay, it's important to know exactly when that was. Do you remember? Mm, maybe an hour ago. Okay. Let's get a stat CBC width differential, monitor our vital signs, and keep me posted. As you can see, this patient was exposed to radiation, but was not contaminated. She will not need decontamination, and there is no risk to caregivers. Serious systemic radiation injury, or acute radiation syndrome, will always induce nausea and vomiting. Sequential CBCs showing progressive declines in lymphocyte levels are considered diagnostic. Refer to an Andrews lymphocyte nomogram if you have one.